Apple just rolled out a new update for select AirPods that can be used as over-the-counter hearing aids. How does it work? Who are they for? And could it replace hearing aids completely? WMR2 News' Sire Williams joins us now in the studio with details. This is pretty intriguing, Sire. Yeah, that's right, Kelly. So Apple introduced the update that takes your AirPods and turns them into fully functioning hearing aids. However, one audiologist in Glenda Bernie I spoke with says there are some limitations. Marianne Dembski is a retired teacher who taught medical terminology at Hopkins. It was probably like the third or fourth year and I could not hear my students. If you look up on that screen, you'll be able to see what I see. Who started experiencing loss of hearing about 30 years ago. And no wax. So I thought maybe I needed to have a hearing test. For six months, she's been coming to Anne Arundel Audiology. Airplane. While the development of hearing aids allowed her to get small hearing aids barely visible to the eye. These are the smallest ones I've ever had because the other ones were actually a lot bigger. But I mean, if you think about it, they're this small. I mean, like super small. She would not be considered the best fit for the AirPod Pro 2's newest hearing aid update. But as soon as she said it was only a six hour capacity, I'm like, well, that's not for me because I need it all day. Brittany Matz, the owner and audiologist of Anne Arundel Audiology and Glen Burney, says that many people already have access to Apple products. So the update is creating more accessibility. It can take the stigma away. Everyone is already wearing AirPods. And so now you've just got this extra feature to help you hear in certain situations. She tells me that while the update is innovative, it also has its limitations. Because the battery life is about six hours, it's not going to be for someone who needs a hearing aid throughout the day and struggles throughout the day. The AirPods would be best used in situations where those who experience minimal hearing loss could use assistance. But maybe you're in a meeting or you're sitting further back and you just need a little extra boost, uh, that would be a good time to slip those AirPods in. But it doesn't replace going to an actual audiologist because sometimes it's not hearing loss. It could be built up earwax. Airwax is right. Now, some of the features available with the new update are uploading an audiology test from your doctor to your phone so the AirPod can adjust to what you need to hear, as well as performing a hearing test that examines what you can't hear. And Kelly, this update is only for AirPod Pro 2 devices. So if you don't have that device or you're experiencing hearing loss, reach out to a medical expert. All right.